What is going on everyone? I am Ethan, also known as Ragnarok, and welcome back to After Party. In the last episode, we finally got into Satan's house and met the man himself. And instead of just being able to challenge him straight to an outright drinking game to get out of hell, he's now tasked us with going to outdrink his underdogs, or his monarchs, whatever they call them. We've got to at least outdrink two of them before we can come back and challenge him. So that's what we're off to go do now. So without further ado, let's go find all of these ones. I can't remember exactly the name of them all. Just waiting for Wormhorn to show up again. It's time for Lola's torture soon, right? We already had Milo's. Yeah, Fornius already told me. I don't think I can make it. Give me a break, Sam. That's... You can make it. What the shit else are you doing tonight? Uh, my job. Who gave you that job? Erdog, seriously, I'm self-employed. Says so right on my tax returns. Just... I know why you don't want to. I know you've been through it before, but... Everyone needs to participate. It won't work if it's just half or hell forbid one. I'm... I'll... I'll, I'll think about it. Okay? I'm thinking about it. Yeah, okay, just don't overheat, because time's running out. What the hell was that about? Hey, what's going on? You guys going home? What happened? Uh, yep. Yeah. We, uh, we need to start finding some demons called the... Uh, the Monarchs, I guess? The Monarchs? We said... Satan said there were four of them. That we should find two and outdrink them first, because... Because... Actually, I don't really... I don't really know. I think he was just trying to get rid of us. Oh no, Beelzebub, Asmodeus, and, uh... Apollyon. Apollyon? Yes. yes. Apollyon. Okay. Well... Oh no, was here earlier tonight, but she just went on vacation, so that one's no bueno. And Polly, she used to be a grand judge of the dead, but has since sort of retired. She's usually at the, uh, sealed knot. It's demons only pub. Well, that's a no-go then. Okay, what about the other one? Asmodeus. Ha! <laughs> Al's going through some shit. Some people have lost weekends. This guy's having kind of a lost decade. But... Whenever you want to head out, just let me know. We will head. So wait, are we actually going to go to a demon-only bar? That can't be right. How would that work then? It wouldn't be a demon-only bar if we can go in it. Oh, what are we waiting for, right? What are our options here? Find Apollyon. And... Asmodeus. Hmm... Kind of more interested in Apollyon, to be honest. Let's go. Polyon's still a fan of whiskey sours. Next stop, Little Rontalia. So, while we're writing, I might as well give you some exposition. The fellas and fillies you're trying to out-booze, the monarchs, they were originally angels of the highest order, seraphim. They'd fly around God's throne all day, tell him how great he is, and, and sometimes they'd fight intergalactic, interdimensional beings from other planes of existence trying to alter reality. Wait, what? Yeah, they left that part out of most Bibles, but anyways. One day they got sick of being happiness fluffers for the big I am and decided they deserve some sort of, uh, profit sharing. So they revolted, led by Satan, of course. He was called Morningstar back then. But the Archangels, God's SEAL Team 6, had the equivalent of frigging nukes with God's holy radiation. And the Great War for the Stars lasted as long as a hamburger with a, uh... With uh, like a like a really big fat person, because oh the, the hamburger would get eaten fast. <sighs> Satan, uh, Satan really screwed up there, didn't he? Only if you think living a free life is screwing up. You're still on your parents' cell phone plan, right? I'm it's actually cheaper. not. Don't be rude. Not so. Polyon and Morningstar, they go way back. I mean, they all go way back. Him and the Monarchs, the Seraphim, but. You know, when God was still scheming geometry, they were all just kids. They'd be making dolls out of baryonic matter, fighting with them. It was a real brother-sister thing, you know? After the fall, and the first guy died, she... She still believed in the rule book, you know? For a time, anyway. So Lucifer let her be the judge of the dead, deciding who would go where, and what punishment they'd receive. Uh, she's one of the more respected angels in hell, probably. Does does Apollyon still is that still her job, the judge of the dam? Oh wait, she and said that she retired, dead. right? Uh, no, she she retired, sort of. After her side judge Yama turned himself into a dog and moved to Mexico, 
Polly kind of lost her spirit for being a cosmic umpire. She teaches Empyrean Law in Astron now. Sometimes she'll do a little pro bono uh, lawyering, but... Wait, lawyering? Does that mean we can get, like, a like, like a retrial or something? Oh, no. No, 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 no. Not, not for people like you, who obviously belong here. But, uh, uh what does that supposed to yeah, mean? for fringe cases, we'll have public trials in the square. Oh, that looks menacing. Okay, little Rontalia, here we are. One of Hell's oldest districts, founded, uh, founded right after the war. Lots of relics, landmarks, and Arby's just opened up on the other side of town. Arby's? And <laughs> the Karma Magistratus, or the Courts of Hell, are down the, uh, down the road here. Sort of like your Supreme Court. Except, you know, actually supreme. All the rulings are final. Huh, I thought about going to law school for a minute. I, uh... I switched majors a lot. Only about a hundred million times? Well, what's the point of majors when the world's burning, okay? At least, that was the... Wasn't that the title of your application? I was essay? just gonna say that. Polly usually hangs out in the sealed knot. The first bar ever in hell. Demons only. Demons so, only? So, how, how do we get in? Why are you acting like you didn't uh, hear this before, Milo? Not unless you can come out with an overly complicated scheme involving identity switching. Not likely. Okay, well... Not sure how we're gonna get ourselves into this one. What are we gonna do? Like, <laughs> Mr. Andy, have I ever told you that you remind me of my uncle, who would take me upon his shoulders to pick apples in the summer? <sighs> We're all mass murderers, nostalgia humpers, or is it just you, Roberto? Like I said, Mr. Andy, I did not commit the crimes I am accused of. My name's Androlfus, Roberto. I'm your court ordered attorney, remember? And as soon as my paralegal shows up, we're going to trial and you're probably going to burn. So, save the my talking parakeet made me do a defense till then, okay? Ciao, ragazzi, please, could you, can you help me? Is he talking to us? You. I'm talking oh my to God. the two of you. Do not be afraid. Oh, He's talking to us. Oh my Should God, okay. we help the guy? Sure, what, what do you need? Bless you, bless you. Uh, perhaps you will indulge me by performing me a small favor. Uh, could you just uh, just straighten my hair a little? Me what? madre, God rest her soul, would never want me to look so disheveled. As you can see, I am bound, so I cannot reach my head. Right. And when I do, you lean in and bite my face off, is that the deal? Use my face as a skin mask to escape your confines? I do not know of any deal, but I am not so inventively rude. Please. By helping my hair, it may be the last piece so of weird. affection I am allowed before eternal damnation. <laughs> oh my god, I can't believe I'm about to do this. Um... Yeah, your, your madre would be proud, or at least less, slightly less ashamed. Grazie, grazie. Thank you ever so much. May you meet souls as nice as you on your journey through Hades. Was that it? Okay. <laughs> That best not have been like some big choice that's going to affect anything. That was a bit weird. Look at this. This is more like what you'd expect hell to look like right here. All dank and dark and kind of just nasty looking hey, overall. Interesting uh, thought. You think after you're dead, people look through your browsing history for laughs? Oh my god. You know, like the way they look through old pictures. <laughs> Why wouldn't they? I know I'd want to see how much you like, you know, big asses. Is that the worst thing you could think of? I don't watch a lot of male-directed porn, okay? I prefer my porn AI compiled from National Geographic documentaries. Oh my god. How much further is this place going along here? I've just gone completely past that point. Hold on. Wow, look at that. This game is like really pretty when you look at it. Alright, so why is this place? Is this the bar? Go upstairs. I could go in that other place. Oh my god, don't tell me it goes even further this way too. Oh my god, where are we going? How far is this place going along? No other place has usually been this, like, wide. Uh, I don't even know where I should have gone to begin with. I don't know which was which. This is looking pretty grand though. Dirty hurdy gurdy. Yes. Oh my god, the game is lagging so hard. It just cannot handle itself sometimes. Look at what? What is going on? Jesus. 
Like, this game is not even, like, massively, like, graphical or anything. It just makes you wonder how some games way bigger than this can run so well, but then this can't even handle going across, like, the River Styx or whatever the hell you call the, uh, the ferry part. Alright, well, let's go back to the first thing we passed, since, I mean, we might as well. Alright, let's go in. The seal, nah. I think this is the place. I don't think we're getting Excuse in here us. somehow. We're just gonna... Just gonna what? It's demonic entities only beyond this point. Incubi, succubi, demons of fate, familiars, leviathans, nor... I bet Wormhorn come along right now. Walmart. We get it. I'm sure there are other, more appropriate establishments that would be more than happy to serve you. Uh, listen, Bouncer Guy, we're here to see Apollyon, so why don't you step aside and... <laughs> and no one just sees Apollyon. But... There is pleasure in the pathless woods, friends. Know what that means. Get the fuck out. Get the fuck out of here, yes. Um, oh. excuse me, uh, fellow, fellow demon. There's no way that's Midway a demon. Look at this. Magnavox, the demon of, uh... That's Hoot. two people on each other's yeah. shoulders. Oh, right this way, sir. What? Are you kidding me? Please. Okay, so, I have another interesting thought. But I want you to promise that you won't make fun of me if it's dumb. They say there's a fine line between madness and genius. And I feel like I might have broken through to the other side. Good God, Milo, just say it. I promise not to make fun of you. Cross my heart, hope to... G whatever. Okay, I have your word. What? Think about it. How many tattered curtains and loose skulls have you seen while we've been down here? That was like Barney the Clown's big top Halloween shop, but less emotionally scarring. So, so, so all we need to do is put together a costume slash disguise. Exactly like that guy did to get in past us. Right past this uppity moron. It, it, anyways, I was saying that I think we should disguise ourselves as a demon. So, so we can sneak into the sealed knot, yeah. Uh, have I lost you? I did, didn't I? I mean, as far-fetched as it is, it's not half bad. Almost as good as your instant s'mores idea. Yeah, but this idea won't get ruined by a German microwave. Let's go shopping. <laughs> shopping. Indeed. So I'm guessing this I'm place we passed to, was... find the materials to make a costume. A store oh, or something? Sorry. I can't believe she really let that guy in. Uh, I don't... Like, I feel like they're getting at each other a little bit. Like, especially when Lola left him. When he was getting tortured by, uh, Wormhorn. They seem to be getting at each other a little bit, and I don't really want them to. They only have each other down here. So, if we could keep it civil and worry about these problems when we get back to Earth, would be muy bien, gracias. Oh wow, I didn't think we could go in here. I thought the door was shut. Ooh, this is menacing as hell. What are those two doing back there? What? Oh, they're like Skyrim walking into the damn thing. The unchased crater. It says it's where Satan landed when God threw him out of heaven. Yeah, it looks like he left a big hole. I think he's calling it unchased because God was being rude. No, it's one cup mashed up nose weevil, a half cup body butter, three eggs. What kind of eggs? Uh, soft shell turtles if they're in season. A little flower. Hateful flower. Uh huh. And what about. And then we skin fry some unicorns and toss them in oil. Sounds oh great. God. I'll take one. Uh. Here you go. Does that. Does that taste good? Is he gonna give a little, little I review? Having that. Oh, Unless you're okay. Well. Out the recipe. Oh, never mind. I don't want one anymore. But I'm still curious. Oh, drunk children! Drunk children, please take some treats from Treat Cart. I'm Lutzelfrau, and my charming Germanic witch recipes will surely soak up all that alcohol. We're not drunk. Then pretend, okay? <laughs> the rebel here is more discerning than Lutzelfrau expected. They don't serve lava blasters here, so everyone still has their taste buds. Okay, well, slow down here a minute then. We're, uh, we're, you know, we're intelligent people, and intelligent people require some measure of... God, you selfish little pricks! Excuse me? You shut down the borders if a kumquat slips past Mexico, but you have to barter with my shit. Just tell uh... Lutzelfrau what you want. Or a costume done. would be great. Trickly. Your dress. It's so... I've just never seen this fabric before. 
And it's so hard to go thrift store shopping in hell without a purse. Ah, what an eye you have. The fabric is a mesh sewn from the hair of children born during an eclipse. That's so specific. You can only acquire it through Mazoku rituals or Thursday night specials. Yeah, okay, get to the point. I just want yours. You'll need to sell your love for Lutzelfrau's treats good, my dear. Give me, uh, just give me your least disgusting piece of crap. Uh, but not, uh, not literal poop, please. Right. Good catch. Feed it to Milo uh, or eat the candy. What's the hold up? You know, I'll take one for the team. I'll take one. Oh god, how does that taste, oh, Lola? So you like Lutzelfrau's Ebola-bellied rats? Ebola-bellied oh, rats? Oh, Oh, it's so good! Yeah, dog. This is a fucking bomb. Ooh. Hey, that idiot tried that weird witch's candy. They love it! Holy shit! Let's go, guys! Yay. Come on! Let's get some candy, yeah! Hey. Oh my god, Ebola oh, belly rat no, candy. Oh my There's god, no need stop. To shove. I have so many sauces for all my diseased meats! Okay, now, the dress, if you please. Give us the, the dress, you. Oh God! Mm. Why was I bored? Okay, follow Lutzelfrau and smile, dipshits. You're on camera, all right? So no samples while I'm gone. <laughs> wow, we so, really, we really did that. Sharing, I presume. Who's gonna be the head and who's gonna be the tail? Oh, oh yeah, you're like way <laughs> taller, aren't you? Weight and good taste dictate I get on top. Hope you're cool with that? Yeah, of course I'm cool with it. Yeah, I was embarrassed to be the top cheerleader on the pyramid in junior high. Well, I was embarrassed for you for other closely related reasons, but yeah. <laughs> oh my god, look at us go. Hey! I'll be honest, I wouldn't let you buy Lutzelfrau a drink. Those mother. Hell is really filled with cock knockers, you know? You wouldn't. You wouldn't think it, but there it is. Oh my god, look okay. at this. Whoa, stop wiggling your shoulder so much, it's... Way. Your skull is pressed up against my junk. I'm sorry, it's... I don't want to say you're heavy, but... You're, uh... Not that easy to carry. Oh, watch it. Not kidding. Look how silly we look. <laughs> it's fine. You're, you're, you're oh my feather, god, this walk. Bird feather. Just... Take it easy. Just stop humping my neck. I'm not humping your neck. Stop rubbing your crotch on my neck. How do you? Think we don't really have much on? choice. I... Okay, just forget it. Jelly we can go upstairs here. Jelly, Jelly fourth. Let's just get to the bar, okay? Let's get to Polly. We're meeting a Pollyon in there, Footman. You can stow the human and carry on. I'll <clears throat> have to check with the owner. Then check with him. I've got less than an hour till trial. All right, she better let us in this time. Ciao, ragazzo. Another beautiful day in hell. You oh, seem God. like a well-to-do demon. Very put together. Upscale like a... Get out of here. Perhaps you know Andrelfus. Andy? He is my handler. Uh, so we should just act the demon, right? Shut your pie hole, human. Before Better than that, Lola. all over your goddamn thyroid. Oh, my apologies. Scusi. Uh, but you... you oh, my there. God. Coincidence. Okay. Shut up! <laughs> hey, you guys are all set. She's in the back. You move. Walk straight to the kitchen and get into the flower drawer. Of course, of course. What is going on with those two then? I really hope he doesn't rat us out. Why did Milo have to speak? That just made it look even more sus. So. Right this way. Uh, I'm just not gonna say anything. I'm just not gonna say anything. Get ready to see some wild shit. Milo, shut up! God damn it! <laughs> Jesus Christ! 